Welcome back everybody. It's Mr. Conway again. Today I'm going to show you how to get one of your projects from Tinkercad onto an actual Arduino. So let's go ahead and start uh, right here in Tinkercad. You can see I have this project here called Arduino assignment number three. This is the one that I want to get onto my actual Arduino. So I'm going to have this open on my screen and then I'm going to hop on over here to my Arduino and I'm going to use Tinkercad as an example to help me build my actual uh, Arduino. And I might kind of uh, speed this up, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by looking here at my Arduino. Here's all my supplies that I'll be using. I'm going to use Tinkercad as my guide to help me. So uh, here we go. So just like it does in Tinkercad, I'm going to start off and go from pin two on my Arduino. And that one's just going to go into, it looks like uh, any row here. I'll choose row 40. Pin two is what powers on the light. Okay, so this LED needs to get its current from that yellow wire from pin two. So I'm going to plug the anode in there. And that means that it looks like row 42 has the current from the LED, so pin 42, or row 42 needs to go to negative. All right. And then I need a connection from the five volt. to the positive rail. And then I also need a connection from the negative to the ground. Okay. And then just as good habit, I want to bridge positive to positive and then negative to negative now all side all my positive rails have positive current and all my negative rails have a connection to negative as well okay so i have my circuit built ready to go and if you're in my class, you always want to build the circuit first and bring it up to me and I will check to make sure that it is safe, make sure there's nothing short on it. Uh, if there's uh, any kind of short circuit on this and you plug it into your computer, which we will have to do, uh, you can seriously damage your computer. We want to avoid that. So this is uh, a safe circuit here. Uh, I can follow my current from the yellow wire through the LED. Uh, from the LED, it goes through the resistor to negative. So I have a path from positive to negative. Um, you can see I have positive here to positive there, negative here to negative there. And then I have my connections are correct. So this orange wire brings uh, positive five volts and this black wire connects ground to negative. We're all good over there. And then I'm gonna switch back over here to Tinkercad. And Tinkercad, what I have to do is I have to get my code from Tinkercad onto the actual Arduino. So I'm going to start off. I'll go ahead and I'll tinker this. And I will go into click code. I will grab my code right here. And we've seen this code in a previous video. I'm going to just copy that. So right click on the code and click copy, or you can use control C on your keyboard if you like that trick too. So I have copied all my code. And now if you're in my class or if you're following along at home and you're on a Windows 10 PC and you've already downloaded the Arduino IDE, if you're in my classroom, all the computers already have that. We're going to click on start and we're going to find the, under A, the Arduino IDE program and that just says Arduino. So I will click on that. And you can see that will open up something. Sometimes it will open up some old code. Uh, if it opens up some of your old programs, all you need to do is click File and New, and then close out your old program. 
So right here I have a guaranteed fresh uh, new Arduino uh, sketch file. I won't need to worry about damaging it at all. All right, I'll go ahead and make that full screen. So you can see I have a void setup section, a void loop section. But in the code that I have from Tinkercad, I already have all that stuff. So I'm just going to select all of that, hit the delete key, backspace, whatever, get rid of it. And now I'm going to paste in the stuff from Tinkercad. So I'll right click on my blank space and click paste, or I will use control V, either method works fine. And here we are. I have all of my code from Tinkercad into the Arduino sketch. It is now ready to be put into the Arduino. So I'll flip back here to my Arduino. And what I'm going to do is I am now ready to get my Arduino plugged in. So you can see I grabbed my USB cable and it has, if you're following along at home, you are going to need a USB type A male to type B male. So this is the A plug. This is the B plug. I'll start off and I will plug the B end into my female of the Arduino and then I'll plug my A end into my computer which is unfortunately off camera. All right so I right now have my Arduino plugged in, uh, ready to go. You might be able to see, yeah, you can see that my blue LED is flashing right now. Uh, it's not flashing in the way that's appropriate for this program because there's already an old uh, program on this Arduino. So we're going to replace the program that's on this Arduino with my new program. Now I'm going to switch back over to my PC at this point. And now I'm going to go back to my computer. All right, so you can see in that last step, we plugged in the Arduino. There was an old program that was on it and the light was flashing. Uh, that's because, it, like I said, there was an old program on there. We're going to replace that program with our new program. So I start out here in the Arduino IDE. So we've already copied and pasted um, our code from Tinkercad into, into this Arduino IDE program. In order to send this code, this sketch, to the Arduino, I have to make sure of a couple things. First, I have to go here to Tools. I have to make sure that I have the right board selected. So I'm going to go down to Board. In class, we use the Arduino Uno board. So I need to make sure that it says Arduino Uno. Now, if you're following at home and you have a different model of Arduino, like a Mega or a Micro or whatever, you would select the appropriate Arduino board from over here in this list. But we're using the UNO, so I'm going to make sure that UNO is selected, and it is. I'm going to go back into Tools, because now I need to make sure that I have the right port opened up. So I, uh, we've, uh, we've seen that already, so here we are. The right port to select is usually going to say Arduino UNO next to it. So you can see right now I have COM1 selected. Well, that's not what my Arduino is hooked up to. It's COM6, so I'm going to select COM6, make sure I have the right thing. All right, now I am ready to get my sketch that's right in front of me onto my Arduino. In order to do that, I go here and I click this upload button. It will probably ask me to save it first. And uh, if this is in Tinkercad, the saving uh, isn't so crucial because all the sketch code is saved in Tinkercad for you. But go ahead, and if you're in my class, you can just save it to the default folder if you want. So I'll just call this assignment uh, number six, like that. Uh, it doesn't like spaces, so that's why I use the underscores. And I'll go ahead and save it. And I'm going to watch down here in the bottom part of the screen. This tells me what's happening. So it's compiling the sketch. That means it's turning all of my words into ones and zeros. And now it's uploading, which means it's sending those ones and zeros to the Arduino. And mine was done uploading. It had no issues uploading. So let's switch back to the Arduino and see what it's doing. So we can see that the Arduino is over here and it is blinking. I'll zoom in a little bit. 
So it's blinking just like it should, just like we've shown you in uh, previous videos. It's staying on for one second and then turning off for a second. And so now I know that it is running my code in my program. This is how we get uh, any kind of sketch programming from Tinkercad onto our actual Arduino. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.